Okay, so as per the heavy light chain assay, so I can say that uh, you know the heavy light chain assay is an is an automated um, uh, assay, I would say, uh, that uh, allows us to identify the heavy light chain pair. Um, so, um, so what are the advantages? So, where can we apply this assay in patients with myeloma? So, I would say that uh, you know the 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 application of this assay uh, could be. Uh, the main application, I would say, it could be to, um, the assessment of the monoclonal protein in patients with IgA multiple myeloma, um, not only IgA, uh, also IgG and IM, but in general um, of, the, um, of patients with myeloma whose monoclonal protein migrates in the beta region where, uh, you know, the rest of the serum proteins um, uh, make more difficult to identify and quantify the monoclonal protein. So uh, that's one application. And the second application, so as, uh, so as the assay allows us to identify the heavy light chain, the heavy light chain pair, not only the, uh, the monoclonal, but also the polyclonal, the uninvolved he heavy, light, uh, heavy light pair, it, it also allows us to identify immunoparesis. So, um, and that's, of course, uh, you know, a risk factor for infection in patients with myeloma, which can be useful in our clinical practice. But also, we have seen in a recent study from the Spanish myeloma group that the presence of these immunoparesis based on the heavy light uh, assay, not only in the classic immunoparesis that we have, you know, been analyzing for the last years. So these uh, heavy light immunoparesis uh, seems to have a significant prognostic value in terms of progression for survival post-transplant in patients with myeloma. So that will be the second application that I see for this heavy light assay in, in our patients.